Hey everyone, it's Melinda. So today I'm in my kitchen because I want to talk to you about one of my most favorite things in the whole entire world, and that is coffee. For me, there is just something so magical and special about coffee, and I absolutely love it. It just makes me so happy, and I quite honestly start daydreaming about my morning cup of coffee before I go to bed in the evening, which is pretty funny. But on top of my love for coffee, I also really love Starbucks. But my Starbucks habit has come at a pretty steep price, and I mean that very literally. I'm sure that you have all heard about the latte factor. But for those of you that have maybe heard about the latte factor, but you don't know what that means, the latte factor refers to unconsciously spending just a little bit of money every single day, which eventually adds up to a lot of money over the course of a year. So let's take a coffee shop habit, for example. Let's say that you stop at your favorite coffee shop every morning on your way to work, so five days a week. And let's say that you're getting a $2 cup of coffee plus tip. So you're spending $3 a day, five days a week, which adds up to $15 a week. But over the course of a year, your $2 a day cup of coffee habit adds up to $780. Now let's take the same scenario, but let's say instead of getting a $2 cup of coffee, you're getting a $5 latte plus tip. So you're spending $6 a day, five days a week, which is $30. But over a course of a year, that adds up to $1,560, which is so crazy. So because of this information, I have decided to cut back, not cut out, but cut back on my Starbucks habit. And to do this, I've come up with a couple recipes that I can make when I get in the mood for a yummy treat from Starbucks, but I'm, I'm staying home and I'm making these recipes here. So the first recipe that I wanna share with you is just for a basic cold brew. And I use this recipe for iced coffee and for iced lattes. So to make this recipe, all you need is either two glass pitchers or a glass bowl and a glass pitcher. And I say glass because you don't want to use plastic. You don't want any of the yucky chemicals in the plastic seeping into your coffee. So anyways, so two glass pitchers or a glass bowl and a glass pitcher. You're going to need some ground coffee. I find that coarse ground works best and also preferably organic coffee. You're gonna need filtered water, and you're gonna need either a coffee filter or a French press. And I prefer French press, so if you have that, that's what I would use. And then all you do to make this is you take one and a half cups of the coarse ground coffee, you put it in the pitcher or the bowl, then you're gonna add four cups of filtered water, just stir it up, cover it, and let it sit out for 12 hours. So what I do, is I will make this after dinner in the evening, so that way it can sit out overnight, and by the time I wake up in the morning, the cold brew is ready to go. So after the 12 hours, you're just gonna stir it up again, and then you're either gonna use the filter and filter it into your pitcher, or you're gonna use the French press and do it in small batches, put it through your French press, and then pour it into your glass pitcher. So once you have all of the um, filtered coffee, in your pitcher, you're gonna go ahead and add four more cups of filtered water, and then you're done. So what you can do to make an iced coffee, just simply take your glass, fill it with some ice, pour in the cold brew, then you can sweeten it if you want to. You can add milk or cream, whatever you like, and then you have iced coffee. And for an iced latte, you pretty much do the same thing, except for you're gonna use equal amounts of coffee and milk, and I actually, and drinking a latte right now. And it's so yummy, I love it so much. So my second tip for saving money, for cutting back on your coffee shop habit, is to invest in a milk frother, just like this one here. So I recently bought that Epica milk frother on Amazon Prime for $42, and I absolutely love it. I really think that this has been probably one of the smartest purchases I've made recently. So I really love this coffee frother, or the milk frother, I mean, because it is so quick and easy to use. I had it running while I was talking. You can't even hear it, it's quiet. It's easy to clean, and it does a really good job at warming up milk and creating beautiful foam. 
So I wanna go ahead and show you just how quick and easy and how pretty cute little latte you'll get. So I have some French press right here. And you can use the ratio, the ratio of coffee to milk that you like, but I do about half and half. And then you just get your little frother. I use a spatula to kind of let the milk pour out first. And then you just spoon on all of your pretty foam. And depending on what type of milk you drink, you'll get different foam, but I drink almond milk, so you get like a really light, fluffy foam from almond milk. And I'm sure that I can't really show you this, but it is so pretty, and this is a really yummy latte too. So if you like getting hot lattes when you go out to get coffee, I definitely recommend investing in a um, milk frother and I will go ahead and link the specific one that I got below so you can go check it out on Amazon. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed these tips, that you like my recipes, and if you like this video, just please give it a good old thumbs up to let me know that you liked it, and subscribe to my channel if you wanna be notified when I make new videos. And thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that you have an awesome day. Bye.